Hi hi, in this video I'm going to go over the concept of superposition and what superposition is in circuit theory you apply it whenever you see two sources and what it says basically is 1 plus 1 equals 2 the sum of the individuals equals the collective that may seem a bit abstract so what does it mean in, in a circuit? Say I had um, a source here, call it 5 volts, resistor here, and a current source here, 3 amps, and we'll say that's a 10 ohm resistor. And say we were get asked to find the voltage, uh, V question mark. Um, one thing to note about whenever you're asked for a voltage, the top of the arrowhead is the positive, the bottom of the arrowhead is negative. Uh, this arrow is flowing uh, opposite to where, what the current's doing. So what what it's saying is, this is a place of higher potential, this is a place of lower potential. Current flows from highest to highest to lowest. Therefore, the current's opposite to the way we've been asked for the voltage. Okay, so if this was um, if this was a single source um, circuit, the problem would be pretty simple, right? Well, what superposition allows us to do is essentially do just that, split it up into what, what would be the circuit with only this source, what would be the circuit of only that source, um, and <coughs> the question mark is going to be the voltage in case 1 plus the voltage in case 2. Two um, key points to remember when doing this, and this is really something you should memorize, is that if we have a voltage source that we're not considering, we replace it with a closed circuit. If we have a current source that we're not considering, we could replace it with an open circuit. That'll be, make more sense when I split this up right now. So I'm going to split the circuits up using superposition. This circuit is equal to um, considering the uh, voltage source first in isolation, 5 volts. They have our resistor there and the current source get re gets replaced with an open circuit. We're interested in V question mark and we're going to add the um, same circuit only only this time we're considering the current source in isolation the resistor in both cases is um, still 10 ohms okay so you'll notice that in in this situation we have an open circuit so this entire top half of the circuit is going to be 5 volts of potential above ground and this is going to be 0 um, volts of potential. So we can pretty much just ignore this entire half of the circuit and only focus on this which is incredibly handy. Thus our solution, our um, problem now becomes what is the voltage source across the resistor in this case? V question mark and via Ohm's law, V equals IR, we, well, we know the current is 3 and we know the resistance was 10. And remember, remember your um, polarity, we have, we're flowing around the circuit in the negative direction, um, which corresponds to the positive of what we've been asked for the voltage. So this is indeed going to be a positive voltage, which will be, of course, 30 volts. This was a fairly basic example, but um, really all, all we've done is split up, the, see, seen the circuit, split it up um, into two separate cases. If there were three sources, we'd just split it up into three cases and, yeah, get the value in each case and add them together. It really is that easy. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. See you later.